Yep, so this just happened and I was able to get it on screen. Connection lost. <laughs> what do, what do, what do? All right, so we just got our first hard clue. I'm just gonna pick it up right now. We'll give me one second. I don't, okay, good. They're, they're not aggressive yet. All right, let's see what we got. I, if we can complete this clue, this is gonna be a really big step on the account. So let's see what it says. Headbang at the exam center, beware of the ladies. I could have a mystic fire staff, a diamond bracelet, and a room boot. Where the, where the hell am I gonna get this? Oh, okay, so that's like 99 crafting. The Mystic fire buffs that I have absolutely no idea how to go about getting. And then, what was that last item? Let's see here again. And room boots. Top level. 75 Slayer. Now, this might not be much. By the way, you got 42 magic, but, but this might not be much for you guys. But I just got an adamant full helmet. So once I complete Holy Grail, I just got my best in slot helmet piece. So right now, we're a one defense hardcore Iron Man pure. Top level. That's not going to be a long term thing. But yeah, I'm really glad that we got the Addy full home, so now we can uh, focus on getting some other items. If we get a D-Med from these guys, it would be absolutely hilarious. 66 XP. 55. I think we'll actually get it on this kill. Oh, we need 2 XP. So we got 2 Fire Runes and a pair of Bones. Cool. Spare these over here. And I'm going to run out here and just... Fire quickie, check it out. Boom, right there. There you go, 45 magic achieved with 35 combat. We can now teleport to Camelot. So we unlocked all the major teleports that we need and we don't need to go to 51 for the RD teleport, which is right, uh, where is it? Level 51, so right here. Because instead of this one, I'm just gonna use my RD cape instead, which is gonna take me to the monastery. So I can save out on uh, that teleportation level for now. And so guys, yeah, now we can resume with the questing. And getting Holy Grail out of the way and getting, ooh, Body Talisman. That's going to be very useful. I'm going to save that. Who knows for what, but we'll see. All right, let's see what I get. <laughs> what the fuck is this? All right, so we got this guy down to his last 5 HP. Let's use this Excalibur super shitty weapon to kill him now. I've been doing this for like 20 minutes now, just safe spotting. <laughs> Boom, got it. So we just completed the Holy Grail quest. That's 11,000 prayer XP and 15,300 defense XP. We were at level 18 prayer and one defense. So let's see where this quest gets us. Wow, 30 prayer already. That's it. So, okay, awesome. And we're 31 defense already. Well, we can wear that helmet now. Cool. That was the, probably the fastest way I could have gained those two levels. And now we're sitting at 82 quest points. Next up now, I'm going to go do the feud. I'm going to steer clear of the YouTube monotony where everybody posts them completing a quest. Hey guys, did this quest. Hey guys, did that quest. And I'm going to show you something useful on how to safe spot every single one of these bosses. The first tough guy from the quest, the feud, can just be run into the tent and he won't hit you at all. It's going to take you a while to kill him with magic, so be prepared for a fairly long fight. The second part of this boss, people say you can't safe spot him, but I beg to disagree. You just got to run in the corner, tank a hit like a man, two hits like a man. And then run all the way around with run enabled and you'll be able to safe spot him behind the carpets here. You can zoom in for extra XP and he does drop an adamant scimitar which you can use later on in your account which is pretty useful if you decide to not get a rune sword for some weird reason. Completion of the feud will give you 15,000 thieving XP and that will also give you the requirement for the quest uh, Spirits of the Elid which gives 8,000 prayer XP. That got us to 40 uh, thieving. Also, we did the mini game for Ali Morrison, the mini quest, and we unlocked uh, the high level runes that he sells, which isn't that many, but it's going to be useful in the account. So we got some blood runes, some soul runes, some law runes, and most importantly, cosmics, which I didn't have any on my account. I, would, I, was, I didn't want to go to Moss Giants, but this was a little bit easier. During the golem quest, make sure you use your chisel and you have six free inventory spots and use them on the throne to get two rubies, two sapphires, and two emeralds. After that, being in this area, make sure you have the black robes like I do in my inventory, and you can start the quest, the Shadow of the Storm, right away. Um, this boss is pretty difficult, but you can save spot him. See how I have the rune sword in the inventory? I did use that to get him in low health, and then you're supposed to get the final hit with, um, with the Dark Light, which will take fucking forever, but that's fine. I, this is my strategy for using the XP here, guys. I put the 10,000 XP from Shadow of the Storm into range because, hear me out, this gives you, uh, gets you to level 27, 
with 800 XP left until level 28. And at level 28, if you've completed the Lost Tribe quest, which I recommend doing in my earlier episodes if you've been following along, you unlock the Dorgashen Crossbow, which is the strongest bow in the early game until you get a Rune Crossbow, and I'm not too sure how it compares against the Magic Short Bow. But what I did is I headed over to the Hill Giants, and I ranged them until I got 28 range. But on the way there, I went through Edgeville, obviously. I talked to the Slayer Master Vanica to get a new task from him, and I first talked to him to unlock my combat level so I can fight anything. So this would mean blue dragons, greater demons, lesser demons, all things that I can safe spot. And I got fucking stuck with Shady Shades. <laughs> So I think we'll have to go do the Shades of Morton quest later on, and then this is going to help us, uh, all right, we'll get some uh, Herbler XP, some Crafting XP, and we'll get the Slayer going underway. We need 18 for Animal Magnetism, which we'll do fairly soon. So here I am about to get 28 range. This was, this didn't take long at all. And you'll notice like I'm hitting threes and twos, I think maybe a four here and there. But once you switch over to the Direction Crossbow, it's like five and sixes consistently. And each arrow only, each bolt only costs like three coins. So I highly recommend you guys, for your range level, you do Shadow of the Storm quest, safe spotted. And then you go arrange some random monster for 800 XP. You literally need to kill something that has like um, 200 H HP in total. So that was like seven hill giants. And I stayed here till 37 range, which was the requirement for Spirits of the Elid. All right, so we just hit 37 range. Now that's one of the requirements for the quest Spirits of the Elid. Let me just pull it up here. Spirit, 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 Spirits of the Elid. There you go, 37 uh, range achieved. Now we're gonna get 37 mining at the Ardone Monastery, just power mining iron ore. Should be very quick, just two levels. I have all the adamant and rune pickaxes in my bank. Then we're gonna go and get that quest out of the way. I'm just gonna finish off this kill here and I'll catch you guys while we're mining. All right, so when you safe spot this guy, you gotta be really quick because he can hit you fast right away. So you gotta, you gotta wait until this health, health bar disappears entirely. So we'll wait for that. And then you can attack him once and back up right away and he will not hit you. That seems to be the case with all these bosses, including the Black Knight Titan, uh, Agrithnar from Shadow of the Storm. You just gotta hit him once, back out, and then they can't touch you again. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Touch this. That marks the completion of Spirits of the Elder. That's 8,000 prayer XP. We're going to go do Ghost Ahoy. And between this and Holy Grail, we got 21,000 prayer XP, guys. Okay, I think I'm the safe spot master because, guys, even the Ghost Ahoy giant lobster, you can just click here and click back. As soon as this health bar goes away, just wait for it. Click on him again. Boom, click back. But this guy is not a tough monster to kill at all, so I'm just going to finish him off one-on-one. One on one. And then I'll catch you guys when I complete Ghost Ahoy. A really easy guy to get, a really easy way to get the signatures from these two is um, for the quest of Ghost Ahoy. Guys, you can just keep clicking back and forth between these two. So you just get two people together, most certainly. There you go, six. Will you sign the petition? I'll do anything. Got seven. You scratch my... So he wants to pay, so we'll just click on him. There you go, eight. He wants you to pay. I'm not gonna do that. Yes, of course. Got nine. Click here. Get lost. Ooh, that was mean. Also, well, there you go. We got ten signatures. Now we go back to Gravingas here. I headed back over to Blue Dragons after completing Ghost Sahoy to get about 20 Dragon Bones, which I'll use to get 43 Prayer, as well as I need one more Magic level to get to 46 Magic for the quest of Eyes of Glufri. This is how I did it. Easy peasy. We finally got 43 prayer. Oh my god, yes. Ah. Alright, so I think this marks the end of today's episode. And uh, for next episode, guys, I'm going to be tackling Monkey Madness as well as getting our quest points up. Currently, we're sitting at 89 and we have a bunch of quests started. So I'm going to finish all the free to play quests in one go, probably tonight or tomorrow. And I want to show the highlights of Dragon Slayer, Monkey Madness, Shiloh Village, and any other big boss fights that we have, and show you guys how to uh, beat them quickly, efficiently, and safely. And make sure you don't lose this pretty little red icon as so many people tend to be losing them now. Seems to me that I'm not really that far out of line. I have progressed past my old account. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Subscribe for more content. And if you have any ideas about what kind of guides you want me to put out, just leave me a message in the comments below or message me in game. Or even if you want, join my clan chat at just Ravencore. It's called Immortal CC. This shit's lit 24-7. So if you guys want to join in, hop in, shoot any questions for everybody, just uh, yeah, be welcome to do that. And uh, yeah, peace out for now.